How you doing everybody? My name's Aaron with RuggerStore.com. Today we're going to walk you through two different laptops, two different Toughbooks, side-by-side -side comparison of the CF31 Toughbook and its successor, the CF33 Toughbook. Now, it should be noted that the CF31 and 33 are both still in production with Panasonic. Um, they're very different form factors, so Panasonic is keeping the 31 around for a while. Uh, no announcement about going end of life anytime soon. This is the definition of Toughbook. If people hear Toughbook, they're imagining something like the CF31. The CF33 takes a lot of the things you find in the 31, changes it into a different form factor. Don't ask me what happened to the CF32. I don't know. So here we go. We're going to walk you through the 31 and the 33. Now let's just talk about basic form factor differences right off the bat. The 31 is clamshell design. The 33 is a two-in-one design. You could watch how I break it apart in the 33 walkthrough video we made, but this is a two-in-one laptop. So very different form factors right off the bat. This one has the ability to move into tablet mode and with or without the keyboard. All the computing parts and stuff in the 33 tablet portion, so you could remove the keyboard and you still have a fully functional computer. The 31 is restrained to just being open, shut, clamshell. Now that isn't necessarily a con. A lot of people need simplicity, like the basic build of the CF31, and is a tried and true workhorse of the Panasonic Toughbook family. Now going into a little bit more about the form factor, they're still both fully rugged, and they're both IP65, ingress protection rating of 65. Now the CF31 does have a higher drop rating. We're talking about a six foot drop rating as opposed to a four foot drop rating for the CF33. If you take the tablet out of the keyboard for the CF33, the drop rating actually gets increased to 5 foot, but it's still not as durable as the 31. So already the 31 has a little bit more durability on its side, um, even though they're both still fully rugged. Now the um, CF33 display, it actually comes with a 12 inch display. The CF31 is a 13 inch display, but you already see some basic um, form factor differences in this display. You see that this is a more of a square shape and this is more of a 3-2 aspect ratio, more rectangular. And the CF33 wins by far in the display pixel count. It's just a much better, much higher defined display on the CF33. And that's for a few different reasons. One, it's just a newer generation of Toughbook, but two, it's also in tablet mode. You're talking about needing high definition, a lot of touch, a lot of um, sensitivity to where your fingers are. You're going to want to be able to see what you're looking at, what you're touching at. CF31, you might just be typing up a report. You, don't, you might not need that super high definition that the CF33 has. Now, they both uh, are touch. CF31 has touch models, and the CF33 is by default touch. Um, they both pack stylus. They both can have digitizers. I think the CF33 is by default. It comes with a digitizer. The CF31, it's optional. Um, and that just is something that 33 just has just by default now. Um, they have basically the same performance levels. Uh, they both can have i5 and i7 processors. If you're talking about the biggest performers of the Toughbook family, it would be the 31, the 33, and the 54. That just has pretty much desktop-like performance. This is in the fully rugged family. The CF54 is in the semi-rugged family. Um, as far as ports, they basically all have the same uh, ports as long as you get the premium keyboard with the CF33. On the CF31, you have pretty much one option. The CF33, as you can see in the other video about the 33, has two different uh, keyboard options. Premium keyboard, light keyboard. Light keyboard doesn't have any port replication on it. The 33 does, so it increases all its ports, pretty much bringing it on par with the 31 ports. Um, as far as integrated options, they both can have 4G LTE. They both can have dedicated GPS. They both can have a smart card reader. They both can have fingerprint readers. There's a few things that the 33 has that the 31 doesn't. 33 can have a 1D or 2D barcode scanner. 31 doesn't have that option. However, conversely, the 31 has some stuff that the 33 can't get. We're talking about a DVD drive, media bay battery. Um, I think those are about the two that come to mind. But the um, DVD drive and media bay battery both would use the same slot, so they are mutually exclusive. Obviously, with a 33 form factor, you can't fit a DVD drive anywhere on this. Um, but on the 31, you can. So if you need those features, you're going to be looking at the 31. Um, going into a few measurements now, I am going to just close it up, let the top-down camera take a peek, and just slap some measurements on here in post. So we're looking at the top. Kyle, would you turn my laptop back on? You're looking about width.
height and length. And lastly, we're going to go into display size. All right, just running you through a few of the basic measurement comparisons on the 33 and the 31. The 31 is heavier. We're talking about an average of 7.9 pounds, depending on what other features. If you have a long life battery, that it will increase the 6.1 pounds on the full CF31 with a premium keyboard. It's 3.5 pounds with just the tablet. So um, let's move on to battery life. And that's something that should be noted on this because the 33 loses pretty heavily against the 31. Even though they both have the same performance, they both have sunlight viewable screens, they can run i5, i7 processors, the CF33 lags considerably behind the 31. The CF33 has those dual smaller batteries and they can be upgraded to long life batteries. It comes by default with a bridge battery, that's an optional feature in the 31. Um, but those batteries just don't stack up against that larger battery that the 31 already has by default. Looking at a few different um, hours by default, the CF33 has hot swappable twin batteries with a life of 10 hours and you can upgrade to uh, long life batteries which should put you around 20 hours. Obviously that number comes into a lot of variance when you're talking about how bright you have your screen, what software you're running, etc. Conversely, the 31 by default is looking at 18 hours of battery life up to 27 hours when you put in that optional media bay battery. That's not even talking about moving into long life battery as well. So the 31 just wins head and shoulders as far as battery life. So if you need something that's just going to keep on ticking long after you have uh, no access to a power supply, 31 would be the way to go. Uh, so let's go into a few of the different pros, why you would want the 31 over the 33 or vice versa. So let's start with the 33. Obviously the biggest feature that wins over the 31 is the mobility. You have that option to break it down into that tablet, move it around. You have a lot of different uh, variations that you can utilize that tablet configuration with the keyboard, and it gives you a lot of more versatility. So you're able to move it, you're able to take the keyboard out, you're able to take the tablet away from, you know, into the field, you're able to come back and type up your reports with the keyboard. You have that versatility of that form factor, that two-in-one laptop form factor. 31, locked into that clamshell, and if you're just locked into a dock and a squad car and a fire department vehicle, might not be so bad, but if you need that mobility, 33 has it. The 33 also wins head and shoulders in the definition of the display, and we already talked about that. It just has a much higher defined screen. So the 31 um, does have some pros, even though it's the tried and true and it's kind of the older brother to the 33, there's a reason it's been around for as long as it has, and everyone knows the 31. Uh, one of them is has modular capability. So if you're talking about wanting to upgrade the RAM or wanting to upgrade your hard drive or solid state, that's a really easy process. With the um, hard drive or solid state, you can just pop open this door right here and slide out the cabinet. You can even have multiple hard drives and multiple solid states for security reasons. If you wanted to take your data physically out of the computer, you can do that inside of a few seconds. Pop in a different drive or have a different drive on the shelf, a spare drive. That is the beauty of the 31. It's really modular, easy to take out. The battery, you can easily take out. DVD drive or media bay battery, you just slap it in that, that door. I think it's right over here. You slap it in there and you're off to the races. So you have that modular capability of the 31. It just is not on the 33 because it's a tablet. Basic computer by itself without the keyboard is a tablet. The pieces are a lot more constrained. There's a lot less room to work with. There's some stuff soldered on the motherboard. It's just not very upgradable once you have it from the factory. Obviously, we talked about the battery life. That is a big feature for the 31, is to have that much better of a battery life than the 33. And lastly, let's talk about durability. So we have the CF31-33 um, durability ratings. They're both IP65, they're both fully rugged, but we talked about the drop ratings for the 31 versus the 33. Obviously, you can see this is magnesium alloy. It's got a plastic bezel all the way around. It's, there's a lot of material in between the drop and the internal components. Compared to the CF33, it has a lower drop rating, but you have pretty much the display and all the internal components right there. So if it's getting dropped, it's getting dropped on something that matters. Um, 
the 31, you can see this is my personal one. You've probably seen a few videos. Uh, you can see it's really scuffed up. It's been kicked around quite a few different uh, fire department parking lots, police department parking lots, just displaying what a fully rugged unit can take. And it's taken a lot and keeps on kicking. So they're both fully rugged. They're both very durable. I'm just going to put my money on the 31 when it comes to higher durability. 31 just has a tried and true track record. There's a reason it's been around as long as it has, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you have any questions, 31, 33, any other tough books, tough pads, we're at the Rugby Store, we're waiting to hear from you, and we're happy to answer any questions you have. Look forward to talking to you there. Bye-bye.